Hi you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to Just One, Abby's YouTube channel. My name is Ebony. If this is your first time, welcome. Come right on in, be a part of the Just One Every crew by pushing that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. As well as give me a thumbs up, please, for this video. I appreciate you guys. And stay tuned to see exactly what I'm talking about here, dealing with my personal thoughts and personal feelings dealing with reselling so tell me if you guys have felt this same way so stay tuned okay guys so this video is a little different um today i'm just kind of sharing a lot with you guys sorry if you hear some noise in the background but i'm sharing some things with you guys just some realness being real um as you can see by the title i want to quit reselling i did i did i wanted to quit reselling and the reason i wanted to quit was just i mean it's just my own personal feelings but i feel like you guys can share along with these personal feelings that i had and probably at some point in your reselling journey felt the same way and i have only been on this journey for over a year now it's you know it's just a little over a year it hasn't been very long and it becomes to be a lot it is a lot you guys and i think it's not just with reselling in general but just having your own business is a lot um especially when you're just not working just your own business when you're working full time and you know and then you're putting together your business and trying to build it up and get it together it all takes time and it all can be a lot and for me it's always the issue of juggling your time time management and for me it was just too much I told my husband I said it is this too much I feel like I'm gonna just stop reselling I'm gonna stop I'm going to try to get rid of everything I have and I'll be done. And it was what he told me. He said, no. <laughs> I'm like, how are you going to tell me no? He's like, no, you're not quitting. Yeah. I'm like, okay, how are you going to tell me that I'm not? He's like, I know you have feelings about it. I know it's a lot of work, but it's your own, it's your own business. It's something that you have for yourself. And y'all, he's been wanting a business for my for myself. He's been wanting me to start something for myself for a long time. I just never knew what. I never knew what I, what I really wanted to do, what I would like to do. And reselling just kind of came a little natural because I love shopping. <laughs> and I love shopping in general, not thrifting, but shopping. And so because i find good deals and he's like you do this all the time you find good deals you like to you know share with your co-workers and share with people what deals you find so maybe being a reseller is what's for you i started it um and I've, I've grown i've learned a lot i've grown so it's not that it's just oh my god i'm just like not used to having to basically run through like a day where you're having like all these different things you have to do and you have to manage your time you have to manage when you do it and how you do it and it becomes to be a lot so that was my issue so now you know he just kind of made me sit down and think he's like whatever you want to do it is up to you but whatever you want to do i'm here for you but i don't feel like you should quit and i even had a friend um, tell me the same thing. I don't feel like you should quit. I feel like keep going. So I had to just reassess myself, stop for a moment, think about it, reassess things, and just, you know, really see it within myself. Okay, what do I like about it? What are the, some of the things that I like? So I wanted to share that with you guys. To just kind of let you guys know that sometimes you get in a rut reselling and no matter if it's your business um, that's not reselling but whatever it is 
if you love it and you like to do it and it's just sometimes when something becomes a business it's something before it was a hobby or before it was something that you really love to do and it was like easier to do because oh my god I really you know like doing this and you weren't worried about the money you made or whatever but when it becomes like a job and a business like you're really trying to grow it it sometimes feels like the hobbiness of it or the you know the thrill of what you were doing the happiness kind of fades a little bit but I think you got to reassess think about it and bring the happiness back into it so by doing that it kind of makes you reassess and think about it clearly so I didn't stop reselling as you can see I continued on but oh I had to, I had to have a come to Jesus moment I had to pray about it I had to really think about it because it became to be a lot and if you are a reseller you know taking pictures buying items all of this it takes time individually taking pictures is the worst thing I, it's the most the worst thing i really hate about reselling is the pictures but it all takes time um you have to take your pictures you have to purchase items you have to list them you have a lot of things that you have to do as a reseller and that goes along with the everyday life things taking care of your families um fixing dinner uh cleaning up and going to work so it all becomes a lot so to me i just had to take the time to manage it all to put out a plan put out a schedule like how do what do i need to do today how do i need to approach this and try to get organized and for me that kind of helped it to kind of steady out a little bit uh by doing those things because it all becomes to be like just a lot too much so if you're one that was thinking about and you click on this video because of the fact that you've been thinking the same thing quitting reselling quitting your business quitting whatever it is that you have going on just remember look at it differently um look at it as why you started it in the first place if it was something that you love now if it's something that you feel like you know i don't love anymore i want to do something different then go ahead and put that plan in place and try to figure out that something different that you're going to do and how are you going to maneuver from what you're doing to that something different so i think sometimes we just have to sit down and really think about things and assess things and look at them differently and so that's what i did and i hope this helps someone out there that may be thinking about quitting reselling or quitting whatever it may be just to keep going believe me i've had a lot of things happen this year if you guys have seen my channel no i've had a lot of things happen and go on this year and as a lot of you probably have as well i'm sure this year has been something so it's what you make out of it it's what you do with it so i just had to look at things differently reassess myself get myself together and say okay why did i start this in the first place why do i like reselling in the first place and what do i want to do next with my reselling business in order to get the motivation back in order to get the happiness that i found when i first started and i was most happy because it was my own it's mine so when something is yours it's just it's so much better it just you takes a little pride in it you know you you put more into it because it is yours and so sometimes that can take a lot of time a lot of effort but it's managing that time I think that's the most important thing is managing your time making sure you assess when what and how you're gonna do it and with that if you just have that plan in place that will be a tremendous help to you and really realizing if this is still something you want to do if it's your dream if it's you know it may not even be your dream it just may be something that you like to do and you want to continue doing but it was because of the the tedious task that you had in doing it that was making you want to stop and for me that was what it was with reselling it was the task of the pictures the shopping um you know the constant having to keep up with all the tasks that you needed to do as a reseller 
and as a YouTuber. And it's just, it was a lot of things. So for me, it's just reassessing, seeing what's going on and how you want to approach it. So I hope this helps you guys to reassess, figure out exactly what you wanted to do and then approach it and get that thing done. Go to it, grab hold of it and you put it back in place in the way you want it to be in place. It helps you, you guys, whoever may have been feeling in a rut, um, dealing with their reselling business, dealing with, um, you know, business as in general of having your own and trying to juggle, you know, a job and your family. I say just take a good mm, woo <laughs> moment. Just take a moment, breathe it all in, assess it, see if it all makes sense if to continue or not to continue and then whatever you decide you you approach it and you own it and you make that decision for yourself because at the end of the day it is all about you and you being able to manage it because nobody else is doing this it's you so i felt like i had to even though my husband told me and my friends told me like i had to look at it myself take my time and figure out what i wanted to do what was best for ebony um, because at the end of the day, who has to manage it all, who has to put it all together is me. So make your decisions by approaching it that way. When you make the decision approaching it that way, you guys, you will see, like, you'll be able to have this moment and you'll see, is it making sense for me? It'll come to you that, okay, I think this is going to work. Or, no, I don't think this is going to work. So that's how I approached it. And that's why I'm still here <laughs> doing the reselling and talking to you guys today about reselling. So I appreciate you guys. Please comment down below. Let me know, have you ever felt that, oh, you wanted to stop something, rather it be reselling or whatever hobby that you may, you know, have and made into your own, you know, have you ever felt it? Have you ever felt that you wanted to stop doing it um, because it wasn't fun anymore or it wasn't what you thought it would be when you made it into your like actual business. So let me know, comment down below. I would love to see your thoughts or hear your thoughts on that topic. So I hope this helps you guys and just sharing a little bit of information, personal information about myself and my feelings and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching Just On Every's YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, Give me a thumbs up for this video and just one Abby. I'm out. <laughs>